and trap to the master guys you finally back again for another one another reaction on this here the one only mr x reaction channel guys big up all the mr x youtube family and the newcomers up there i just want to say you guys i appreciate you guys for tuning into this here reaction video of course we have a number of things we're going to be talking about actually going to be doing two reactions today i was going to be doing three but i say but there i will quit hey, oh, that boy brothers and sisters hey <laughs> so we got to be reacting to uh, pastor rodney being displeased by the utterances made by the attorney general brothers and sisters and there's some powerful things that he said i only heard a snippet of it i didn't hear the full thing i actually heard the audio before i saw this one right there i mean the videos were sending me the audio clip of this so i'm gonna be reacting to that but before i get, get into that guys i must make mention of the mr Lix youtube app don't forget to download that right there and of course guys i would appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up of course the mr Lix youtube app will be in the first comment in the comment box below if you have not done so definitely download that guys we're on the road to 200 um downloads right there so i just want to tell all of you guys who have downloaded it i appreciate you guys for definitely doing that i keep telling myself i have to do a, 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 a run through from it man i know i'll be getting some more from that but i have just never done it man that's crazy <laughs> that's crazy right there brothers and sisters but of course um i just want to mention that right there and i would appreciate it if you guys give this video give 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 this video a thumbs up <laughs> sometimes my brain goes faster than my mouth man and it does boop beep dip on my mouth man <laughs> that's what it goes sometimes but it is what it is right there but uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up i would appreciate that and don't forget if not if you're not done so definitely download um not just download but um subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through right there now guys before i get into the whole situation I, I i was asking the question yesterday are the police still doing the investigation of of the little one the missing the missing girl right there are they still going out there are they doing you know anything in this regard to 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 let the audience or the public know that the the, the findings the discoveries and what have you i haven't heard anything at all until individuals yesterday told me that they actually were going to be stopping yesterday the same day i was asking if they are going to be doing uh the continuation of 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 looking for that missing one and of course uh individuals have to have, have indicated to me that they 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 stated that they would stop on the 12th which was rather interesting another individual i think based in the comment box told me that um they actually stopped on the 11th i'm not sure if that is the case well, of course it is the 13th of july and they stated most people were saying that they they, they, they stated that they're going to be stopping on the 12th so this is rather interesting right there so they stop search for the very person that they caused to still be missing in the very same situation and the reason why i tend to say this guys is because on the high side of things looking back from the very beginning you heard that there was a troubled man a troubled man that didn't get assistance which means that the very individuals in society were pretty much the caretakers of these kind of individuals failed him they failed him the psychiatric individuals individuals involved in mental health yet still we go for mental health three days from now we're going to for, for work for mental health when society itself has failed the individuals who have mental health or some sort of mental health problems right there that is that is not cool at all not a, not a thing they allowed this guy to to go free and didn't go on and, and capture him and this kind of things there they allowed him to walk free to the point where he was uh, um, allegedly abducted the little one obviously he and the pastor was one of the, the last set of individuals who saw this little little um little one little missing one right there so it was either the pastor that would know what happened to that little girl or it was the missing man who maybe had some sort of inclination of somebody helping him to say okay you get this girl go for this girl because all the time he used to go inside there and never really used to trouble the, the little one he never used to do that so most likely that's why we're saying that there's a possibility that maybe somebody else was involved and he went in for the little girl got a confrontation with the pastor who was trying to protect the little girl from you know thing in then when he brought her out he gave her to the person the person drive off and everything like that and he himself went back into the bush being in the bush for a number of days no girl inside they saw teddy bear and those kind of things there for which we're not saying that the girl didn't have it but we also heard that she she was she she um she the the madman took the things and and took the things in in, in i guess with the understanding that you know if they needed to change clothes or something like that they would need to change clothes that's that's my understanding right there but that that anyways that that went on and of course the girl went missing the the police found the guy again uh the police shot and took the madman's life the very man that would most likely know what happened to the little one if he passed her on to somebody if he did that or if he actually you know if if, if a worst case scenario he decided to bury her somewhere he would most likely know where he did that 
to, so the family have some sort of closure right there the family have no sort of closure at all so who knows what exactly happened so the police decided to end the very man life the one man that would most likely know where the little one is or what happened to the little one and they ended his life he, they stated that he said that the girl was in Warner somewhere in some basement somewhere but he was alive don't you think he would have pointed her pointed the the, the officers to 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 where exactly she is in whichever basement that all you see he see that she was in i think that would be wise but of course we have a set of incompetent people in in, in the police force i don't say everybody's incompetent but peter has to pay for paul and therefore as a result of people not talking or trying to stop dirty rack people from running things in the police force then everybody becomes you know it's one unit <laughs> one unit right there just like um yesterday where the individual who got arrested the police officer got arrested for for using his his um um, um, um tool on, on on an innocent man i'm not exactly sure what happened but it based off the 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 the, the information i got at this video is he was innocent anyways as a result of everything that has happened the incompetence of the police officers taking away the life of the very man that would know and then stopping search if they did stop the search according to what individuals have said so didn't i say everything i said had come to pass with everything i said you guys from the moment that they, they got the guy i said hopefully they don't shoot and, and take his life that's exactly what they did obviously i said the trail is gonna go cold and the trail went cold but <laughs> i mean <laughs> It's rather interesting that we're expecting better from people who have done training. And they're not doing better than the very citizens themselves. I remember when an individual, some white man went, um, went missing. And he had trained officers looking for that man. Until that white man's father decided, you know, let me put, I think it's 10,000 US dollars. He decided to, anybody that find him or whatever, to. Um, two, boy, two boys from Portsmouth went and looked for the man, went all over the place. And they found him, they get it to ten thousand dollars on some bill uh, add to the house and whatnot. They got that money. It's on the basis of different things happening. Guys, have you guys tell me if I'm wrong? If there's a stolen vehicle or stolen something, a stolen bike or something like that, and you report it to the police, who and the vehicle is found, who do you think finds the vehicles? Who do you find do you think finds the, 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 the things? It's the citizens that find them. The police are waiting for citizens to do what dead. <laughs> They waiting for what? For, they waiting for the citizens to do their work instead of looking for trails and asking people different questions and so forth and so forth. It is the citizens. This is one of the reasons why I you know if the girl actually disappeared for real and they had to find him, I know they wasn't gonna find him because they said are incompetent people out there. And I don't. It's not like I want to say that. It's not like I want to say that. But that is that. I mean, when the evidence is in your face, what you expect? You want me to lie for you? I can't lie for you. You shot the only person that would know where the missing girl is. And you think that you have some level of competence there? Huh? Anyways, talking about incompetence, guys. The Attorney General, obviously, Pastor Randy Rodney, is displeased with, the, with what the, the Attorney General is saying. And, of course, he's going to give his views on this. Let me get this straight right there for you guys to hear. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the information that comes out of the Attorney General's chambers, the function of those of the Attorney General's chambers is to is for timely and accurate drafting of legislation. True. Is for listen to this one for provision of sound legal advice and representation to the government of the Commonwealth of Dominica. The management of the judicial process. Hmm. Now, I need to repeat that in your hearing. Break it down for us, man. Break it down. The functions of the chambers of the Attorney General include the timely and accurate drafting of legislations. Timely and accurate. The provision of sound legal advice and representation to the government of the Commonwealth of Dominica and the management of the judicial process. Now, this second one doesn't say sound legal advice and representation to the party. 
That's correct. To the Dominican Labour Party or the United Workers Party or whatever. It doesn't say that. It says to the government of Dominica. Dominica. So whichever government that's there, you're supposed to give sound legal advice. Not partition legal advice against another somebody or somebody that that is the problem that uh, that we have and this is why a number of persons keep talking about politics i not in your politics this politics is all around us i keep mentioning my very shirt my shirt is political it's not blue it's not red but the fact that i'm able to allow the fact that i'm able to be allowed to wear this thing in a country is what politics is about this camera is based off politics different policies put in place for people to be able to use cameras and this kind of things there in the public sphere in the private sphere all these are policies so it's not about partition politics it is about political proper political or poly policies applied where needs to be applied that is what politics is policies put in place where needs be applied not just for one side but for everybody it's to govern everybody Partition politics is different. So people need to get that in their brains. Man. For those of you who need to know, the government of Dominica is represented, or oh, 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 there are three branches that represents the people that is called the government of Dominica. They are the executive branch, which is the prime minister and his cabinet. Judiciary. Judu judiciary which includes the judges, the magistracy, and all of that. And then it includes the parliament. The parliament sits above all of the other two, or both, right? Because that's where they come to make decisions and those kind of things there. That's, that's they take the, 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 the thought process of the people, you know, bringing the parliament, uh, have debates on certain matters that will affect the people. That is what parliament is above all of the others. run this thing so that the attorney general's job is to represent we the people, people of dominica as represented by those free branches mm -hmm. not by any political party true at elections my brothers and sisters my friends political parties contest elections mm -hmm. i'm going to tell that again political parties contest, contest elections. elections partition that is the partition that we keep mixing up with politics politics is one thing that affects everybody partition politics is whether you support blue red purple shocking color green or yellow black whatever it is you need to understand the difference and i keep telling people that over and over but they don't seem to understand <laughs> win or lose political parties find their legal people to represent the political party so when there is a matter in the court is a matter with political parties mr attorney general i read with interest your statement dated today and to be honest with you that was yesterday you should fire yourself <laughs> This says yesterday. I think it was the day before. Because I think I got the audio in the night time. And then I got this clip the next day. So most likely it was um on the eleventh. Eleventh. That's what I think it yeah. Because you actually start the statement by talking about the government of the Commonwealth of Dominica is obliged to express his disappointment and concern regarding certain gratuitous comments recently made by the CARICOM Court of Justice in his written judgment in the case, blah, blah, blah. Well, you're writing on my behalf, sir. Mm -hmm. And this comment you made there for some Not, people, yeah. who, you know, some people don't understand big words. Ladies and gentlemen, the word gratuitous comments mean, the word gratuitous means gratuitous. that what the CCG said was without good reason or it was uncalled for. Or gratuitous and yes. I, like the americans i say wait the opposite. what mr attorney general wait what it wasn't it was it was without good reason you mean only planes that were on the airport the few days before election <laughs> and and election day wasn't with good reason boy i i just tell a partner that we it when it was yesterday i just tell a partner that we people want to act as if we didn't see those planes in the airport is that a normal thing no people want to act 
So you mean citizens decide to take the same amount of planes and bring it to the airport? People want to act as if you didn't see it happen. <laughs> That's something I see. They want to act as if you didn't see all those planes landing Dominica. What? Uh, is that what you're saying? Uh, are you saying that what some of us know in Dominica wasn't good reason? Are you saying that because you went to the court and you got Glasgow and I'll pray for him when I finish do all of that. I, I didn't ask <laughs> none of the, my partners about that, but I'm going to pray for Glasgow and I'll pray for you and I'll pray for the rest. It's time that fire and brimstone begin to come on all. Yeah, boy. Because wickedness is happening, please. Let me go back a little. I didn't ask none of the, my partners about that, but I'm going to pray for Glasgow and I'll pray for you and I'll pray for the rest. It's time that fire and brimstone begin to come on all. Wicked fellas, man. Because Zomation stay. You 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 are doing this, sir, uh, from a party political perspective, and to be quite honest with you, if you say that that the the comment of the CCG wasn't was without reason, you can say that for yourself, mm. because the rest of your letter, the very next paragraph, begins to talk about the DLP, and the only people you put blame on was the UWP because the UWP took issues with the election. There were issues with the election, partner. There were issues with the election. I and even CCG admitted that. They admitted that they were they are tense. This is what I don't understand about the CCG themselves, you know. You know they are tense in the election, the previous elections. Then why don't you guys address this? But then again, that was not what the ruling was about. It wasn't about the tense. It's what whether the high court had the, the jurisdiction to, to allow the, the thing to go through or not. I think that that, that from my understanding that's that's what it was. You guys can explain to me if that's not the case. But they never mentioned anything about the taints itself. What exactly needs to... And this is why I mentioned in the previous vi um, video when I was talking about the taints. Who exactly defines what the taints are? You guys talk about taints. There are taints in the election. But who exactly defines this? I don't think the, high, the, the, the CCJ ever defined this. Did they define this for us? Because if they define it for us, then we know exactly what to look out for. True or false? But they never identified the taints. But they know that they are taints. And as a result, this is what the the the, uh, the opposition team brought in about the tents. But they didn't look at the tents. They say yes, going forward in future gen um, future general um, general elections, the these tents should not be there. But who defines what the tents are? That is my big problem with 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 with, with, with the whole thing. But anyways, they are true. It's, it, they are tents, true, and they need to stop. But how do you define the tents? Especially when the ruling party say that they have done nothing wrong. With all the planes that land in Dominica. With all the boats that came in bringing home and hundreds of people into Dominica. They, they, with all the concerts and, and things that they have. Bringing gospel artists to then put on and say guys we are siding with this team. When they want to say oh it's just a, a, a normal thing for everybody. How can it be a normal thing? And on the stage, you are telling the audience gathered who with the mindset believe that everything is okay or with the understanding that everything should be okay on both sides. It's a gospel concert you say you're having to make the people have, you know? And the people on the stage are then advocating for the audience to vote for one side. I mean, it, it's very clear what was going on. This is what treating is. You treat the audience so that they can come and listen to you what you have to do what you're saying and then entice them to go and vote for one side <laughs> but they throw it out man i have heard reports of people who say that 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 people came to vote last election that they had not seen dominica for umpteen years and that's true i know a few of them <laughs> i know a few of them you know that <laughs> boy <laughs> people come from and not just america you know in the caribbean they haven't been back in dominica for 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 i mean not let me not say the um maybe people figure out who i talking about there <laughs> for over five years they haven't been back in dominica for over five years yet still they know they get a plane a free plane ride to come to dominica they came to dominica and did what they had to do I don't know if they paid them. I know some some of the individuals got paid and they went back to certain Caribbean islands. <laughs> and the thing is, I was watching my videos, but <laughs> you know, you see, 
Hey, you get your money, you get your free ticket to come to Dominica, you come boom bang and go. Well, these people I talking about, they actually have been to Dominica from time to time. Um, under five years. But there are others who I know who haven't been to Dominica and they came down here and and and, and thing. Because your people say that they didn't mind paying the tickets for the people to come and you have the money. Unfortunately for right, before let me go let me go, okay, go back a bit. It's rather interesting that they keep talking about when they, when they want to do things in Dominica. They apparently don't have the money. But they know how to find money to do elections though. They know how to find 20 something million dollars for elections. They know how to find 60 60 something million dollars for election. They know how to find uh, over a hundred million dollars for elections. I wonder I wonder how much they will spend this time. Or they probably just give it up. Because they figured, hey, CBI done, what else can we do? What else can we do with that? Nothing else. We make all our money. Less time for us to roll up then. So it's not just rolling out like that, no? <laughs> it's not just rolling out like that. <laughs> Anyways. Because your people say that they didn't mind paying the tickets for the people to come and you have the money. Unfortunately for you all, your budget was all over the place. Hmm. Your election budget was all over the place. Boy, but money spent with that time there. Money spend that time there, we bikers get, walkers get, people without house get, people with house get, everybody get. And when it comes on to, to states, the people that they liaison with, they didn't want to be a part of it. So they just decide to send, send things with people that they know up or were part of the team to link up with whoever they can link up to come down. If they could come down. <laughs> But all you know what going on behind closed doors, boy? All you know what? Okay, all you probably do know. Let's continue. Violating the laws. And all you did was went to court to stop the evidence from being presented in the court. I was part of it. I was part of it. And it's a heck of a thing to be a part of something that you know evidence is there. Especially when you videotape the evidence. That's <laughs> something else, eh? <laughs> You videotape the evidence, we. The evidence is very clear. And they decide to throw it out. On the court. That is something else, man. That's what you did. You went to court to prevent the evidence from going to the court. And <laughs> you're talking about gratuitous comments, sir? I am heartened that somebody had the courage to speak at the ccg level it means that the rest of us dominicans must not lose hope i've said it to you before we have gotten to the bottom of the barrel hmm. the bottom of the barrel is joke we literally dig the bottom of the barrel and say how long can we go as if we play limbo we reach the bottom of the barrel and we dig in the bottom of the barrel to see if we can go lower. Guys, how low can we go now? Talk to me. I ask anybody your day. How low can what? 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 What example can you possibly give for Dominica to go lower at its present state? Oh, growth engine is not functioning. We have some a set of incompetent people in positions. The very people themselves themselves might be incompetent because I remember what Professor Lumumba said. And that will save me probably even if I get amnesia. That will save me. The people get what they truly deserve. And it's understandable that the very people themselves are celebrating, boy. Never. I will never forget Grand Bay. Grand Bay where Reginald stand up and tell the people that he don't care about the $500,000 that go missing. He don't care. And the people stand up clapping me, boy. The money that can help them they stand up clapping the people get what they truly deserve why you think grand bay not going nowhere the only set of people that ever did anything for grand bay set up the educational system is the uwp team from my understanding what the other teams have done i'm sure they must have done something i just don't know but i know at the recent thing that has been done is the, 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 the secondary school and they're literally using the secondary school to host, host their meetings to come and fool the people and have the people come in and say thank you thank you for what 
maybe for giving them money and this kind of things there guys as a prophet that always said suit and my father taught us that very very early as well you teach a man to fish you save him for a lifetime you give him a fish he will constantly come back to you because he cannot fish he hungry if it's fish it have he know you have fish because you can fish but there's another part i tend to put to it if the man who constantly comes to you for for fish and never ask you himself how to fish himself wicked the people get what they truly deserve and i'll tell you something the crabs are all coming to fall down the dominoes crashing and and i don't say that because i have some facts over there i say that because in the spirit realm i see it in the spirit but, i mean you don't just need to be in the spiritual realm you know i mean it's very evident for people who are spiritual people they understand this very thing but a lot of people are not spiritual people are religious there's a difference but people aren't spirit they don't understand the spiritual realm there's a people people have often said there's a dark cloud across, uh, over Dominic and people think it's joke oh no you don't say what you want but it's not just about the, the spiritual realm you can literally sit in the physical realm especially when Dominic what Dominica relies on is dying and the very person who said if not CBI what else no no what else <laughs> because they're trying to go to agriculture the very thing that can propel Dominica forward Ask any economist across the world, they will tell you the same thing. Agriculture is the way forward for Dominica. Dominica is a volcanic area with rich, fertile land that can produce great things if we literally just stay focused and focus on it. And as a result, we can then put the money that we've made in agriculture in other sectors. We're trying to do it back to front. Tourism, we're trying to compete with already thriving tourism industries in the Caribbean. Knowing that other places have international airport, not just that, they have activities that they can do. When tourists came to Dominica, remember when tourists used to just pull up trying to get Wi-Fi by um, which church? <laughs> All you remember? <laughs> All you remember that? <laughs> but I something as a boy. Tourists pull up on Sunday, everything closed on Sunday, man pull up trying to get a Wi-Fi by which church by? <laughs> All you don't remember that? Tourists come in now. I remember back in the day, you used to have a lot of younger, younger tourists. We used to actually mingle with them. Especially in Bayfront, where tourists come, they mingle with us. And Bayfront was a place where people to come and relax and chill. Not for marketing stuff. This is why the UWP built the, the Bayfront the way it is, you know. And now they're removing the water thing. They're removing all kind of things and putting sharks. So we have a ghetto on the Bayfront now. And people think that that is progress. They make colorful building for which individuals have to pay twenty dollars a boat, and sometimes they're not even making twenty dollars on a sale for the day, but they have to pay twenty dollars per boat. But what do I know, right? Um, I see that that there are things coming down crashing on their face in the spirit realm i see people who are supposed to be in song mind walking the road like they have lost it in the spirit hmm. realm my brothers and sisters i see some people now running away from the country they make you believe they love yeah, yeah, yeah. That they only love because they are lining their pockets in the spirit realm but that is so true that is so true the mere fact the prime minister allowed his children to be born in another country so that his good children can get the privilege of that other country instead of the country that he himself is running <laughs> doesn't that tell you something you think these people care about you when the very prime minister come and say yes he can send his children to overseas if they had need some medical attention and then he asks the people that put him in power what about you as if they don't put him there to do something about it there is something else here might see some people running away from dominica and dying overseas in misery like i've done like, like like had been done before it's coming down and it's coming home to us you know why because god's hand is getting in there and once god's hand get in there mr attorney general and all the rest of you all the rest of you who think that you can do wrong with impunity <laughs> your days are numbered and you know what the partner say the, 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 the partner that was on the on the slingshot shot thing he says he coming down that bad okay you go up but he coming down that bad and it will come anyways guys let me know your thoughts in this regard don't forget to tune in for the next reaction video after this one give this video a thumbs up subscribe and definitely turn on the post notification by clicking the bell and then click all so you can get all the notifications and don't forget to download the mr Lix tube app in the first comment in the comment box below guys i'll see you guys in the next reaction video boom bang.